Dear colleagues, my name is Dr. Michael Weber from Germany, and I would like to present you today a complete new developed multi-channel fiber optic laser device what we use for treatment of pain any places on the body and also what we can use for painless and needle-free uh, acupuncture treatment. You know that treatment in acupuncture, for example, is painful and many people, they don't like the insert insertion of many needles. So in the beginning, we developed this system mainly for acupuncture because the so-called laser needles are not penetrating uh, in the body. They are only attached to the skin and only the laser beam penetrates uh, the body up to seven centimeters for reaching and stimulation of acupuncture points. So you see uh, the small and nice compact model on a new developed trolley and I show you the different buttons on the device so we have on the right side down a key switch and upside on the right side a so-called emergency switch if something goes wrong or the patient is afraid of any sensation he can switch off the device itself you see that the device is divided in two parts. We have the housing where the electronics is inside and the laser models are not in the device so they are inserted in a specific metal head of the device which guarantees a good cooling of the models uh, for a uh, guarantee of long life of the laser diets. So the metal head uh, carries the laser models, it can be turned and you see on the laser models attached are the fiber optic cables and at the end uh, we see the metal uh, laser needles which are attached on the body and deliver the special laser beams for the different points. The device is now switched on and I will explain you how the device works and especially explain the touch screen on the display. So you see in total 12 buttons and um, we can mark these buttons with the laser color maybe with red, infrared, green or blue. Also we have so called F buttons. F means uh, uh, these are buttons for free channels on the device and on those free channels we can add lasers of any color. So in the basic uh, setting the device is running with 50% power and 20 minutes treatment time. If I want to change anything then I press the set button below and with the set button then I can change uh, power of the lasers and I can change the treatment time. You see when I press the button it uh, changes the color to white and with a small peep the laser starts running with 50% power and 20% treatment time and we can see the time running down from 20 to 0 on the display. Also I can start without any problems all 12 lasers together and now I stop again. So 20 treatments time um, has shown in different research studies that's the optimum of treatment time. Especially Professor Litscher in Graz University could show in his brain experiments that there was no further improvement by making a longer treatment time and 20 minutes is a reasonable time for a treatment. You see now I change the power of the lasers also I can change the treatment time. You see 50 percent is in the preset and I'm now going up to maybe 100 percent or go down to 30 percent. So in small children for example I would prefer to work with the lower laser power but if I have old or very sensitive patients, maybe with a lot of drugs for different diseases, I would prefer to work with lower powers. So if I go to the frequency mode, 
you see that the device is in the preset on the continuous mode and we have already set uh, different frequencies according to uh, Dr. Nogier from France or Professor Bar from Germany or Dr. Reininger from Austria for the different pathologies and diseases. But if I want to choose a free frequency, I press the free button and then I choose a special frequency, whatever I like. I confirm all my data in the preset and then I can start my laser and uh, it will run in the given frequency. And the chosen model will work in the frequency mode. And of course I can work with each laser with a special own frequency. On the right side you see here the emergency button so in case that the patient maybe will be anxious or afraid and during the therapy or he's feeling some uncomfortable sensations he can switch off the device itself on the emergency button. But normally the applied energy laser is so low and normally patients they only feel a little bit tingling or cribbling maybe on the treated area and there's no report up to today that any patient uh, had uh, really a big problem or something what uh, was very bad for his health. Here you see now the special metal head and you see that the laser models are fixed in a solid metal plate in the head of this uh, laser device. So the big advantage is that the models are not inside of the device, so if something goes wrong, maybe a diet is broken or a fiber is broken, uh, then we have not to open the device, but we can remove and replace easily the laser models on the metal head or replace the optical fibers. The head is heavy and guarantees a perfect cooling of the device which uh, guarantees a long life of the laser models. Especially green and blue models produce more heat and so a cooling of the models is very important. You see I can move the head by turning so I have not to round, run around the head. Here you see the red module number one and the diet is on the bottom of the device and um, above is the small driver board of the laser model. So you see that now I an, uh, unscrewed the optical fiber and you see that the laser beam is coming out of the laser model. By special optic the laser beam is then coupled in a 0 0.4 millimeter diameter fiber optics uh, in the, uh, in the glass fiber cable and it's extremely important that there is a nearly 100% coupling of the laser beam directly in this small fiber. I will now demonstrate you the different laser colors. Here you see the red laser coming out of the so-called laser needle and you see if I go closer and closer to my dress that the beam is more and more stronger. So the power of the laser diet is 40 milliwatt, but if you calculate the power per square centimeter, it's increasing up to nearly 40 watt per square centimeter, which guarantees really a high penetration depth in the body. So I show you now an infrared laser. You can see a very little bit red spot uh, it's 810 nanometers but nearly invisible. The big advantage of the infrared laser is that it cannot only penetrate the soft tissue but also can penetrate bones so we can use it also in skull or bone treatment. In the next step here I uh, show you the green laser and also the blue laser. Yeah, it uh, shines like a a green laser but uh, in reality is green, blue violet. So for attaching the laser needles on the skin we have developed a special 
so-called sticky disk. So it's very easy to do and it's very clean and sterile. So we put the laser needle in this sticky disk. We can choose a point maybe on the wrist joint, for example this triple energizer 4, and you see it's well fixed easily and very clean on the, po uh, on the point. And for delivering the laser beam in a perpendicular form, uh, we normally form a small loop and fix this with the tape and uh, even if the patient is moving his arm or maybe you have a, a child, the movement will not lead, uh, you see here, to a different angle of the laser beam penetration. And even if uh, the patient moves, it's a very, very safe treatment using this technology. So to demonstrate that the laser really can penetrate the soft tissue, we put the laser on the finger on one side, we switch on the device, and amazingly you can see that really the laser shines out of the skin on the other side. So the red laser can penetrate the soft tissue, but goes around the bone. In contrast, the infrared laser can not only penetrate soft tissue, but also the bones as well. So red laser is a wonderful treatment for all s soft tissue injuries on tendons, joints, uh, on muscle uh, tissue. But if we want to treat bones, maybe on the knee, or uh, want to use the laser transcranially for improving blood flow in the brain, for example, then we use the infrared laser. So next step, look at the green laser. The green is a strong light but you see not a big spreading and there is no transmission of the light to the other side of the finger. The reason of this is that the green light is absorbed nearly 100% by the red blood cells in the small capillaries and so we have no deep penetration, it is only maybe two or three millimeters.